The radically reimagined Pep Boys. Breathtaking design, stunning interior, and unrivaled performance. Take the newly remodeled Pep Boys for a test drive today. Holiday shopping. We got this. Paying top dollar for a tree? Amateur move. Knowing a real deal when you see it? Skill. Like buy one, get one half off. That's what I'm talking about. My Big Lots. Surprising savings every aisle, every day. If you have questions about your Social Security benefits, visit ForThePeople.com or call Morgan & Morgan for the people. Morgan & Morgan for the people. We have breaking news as we come on the air tonight. Police are searching for at least one gunman at a mall in northern New Jersey. This is a live look at that scene right now. Early reports are that multiple shots were fired just before 9.30 tonight at the Garden State Plaza Mall in Paramus. So far, there are no reports of any injuries. As you can see, you have police, state troopers, and SWAT teams. They've been carefully evacuating shoppers and employees. Witnesses say the alleged gunman was wearing all black and possibly body armor. We're still yep, waiting for police too. confirmation on that. Again, this is a live picture and a very active situation. They're going to bring you more information as soon as it comes in. Also new at 11 now, attacked and nearly abducted tonight, a Tampa teenager explains how some quick thinking brought her the time she needed to save herself and two young girls she thought might be next. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. The 16-year-old girl was just blocks away from home when a man grabbed her. Yeah, she spoke with our Jacqueline Inglace, who joins us now live at the Orient Road Jail with the very latest on this. Jacqueline? Well, this teen told me that she is relieved tonight that Cornelius Burr Jr. is here behind bars because she believes if he were free and out roaming the streets, he would try and grab another child. I couldn't even talk because, first of all, I have asthma. When I get scared, you know, I can't be. Every morning, 16-year-old Erica sets out on a half-mile walk to her school bus stop. Only today, just two blocks from home, she ran into trouble. Trouble so scary, she won't show her face. He grabbed my arm. It was 6.30 in the morning and still dark. He told me to walk him to his house. And I was like, no, I'm... Erica says she tried running from 33-year-old Cornelius Bird Jr. But when she couldn't break free from his grip, he threatened her. He, like, pointed at me with his two fingers, like, he was going to shoot me. The teen instinctively knew to stay calm and to play along. I was like, oh... Come, okay, I was like, take a walk with me, come this way. Erica lured Bird back to her home. That's when a male neighbor confronted Bird, and Erica ran into her East Tampa home. No me dio miedo. Erica's mother says she was scared, but still ran outside to confront Bird, who'd seemingly already set his sights on someone else. And the two little girls were just freezed there, like, you know, scared, and then it's because he told them not to move. He was going to do something to them, and she, if there was to move. The teen took her mother and ran to help the little girls. That's when police showed up. Bird apparently tried running away, but tripped. When you're scared, you don't think of, oh, I should do this. No, you just do whatever is possible. Erica's mom told me that she plans on walking her daughter to the bus stop every morning from now on. As for Bird, he has an arrest record that dates back to 1995. He's currently facing charges for false imprisonment and battery. We're live tonight in Hillsborough County. Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News. Jacqueline, thank you. Also, just.